In this video, let's learn about the cephalic, basilic and the median cubital vein. The cephalic vein begins as the continuation of the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch. It then continues and crosses the roof of the anatomical snuff box laterally. It then ascends on the radial side of the forearm and then continues upwards to the elbow along the lateral border of biceps. Then it pierces the deep fascia. This is the deep fascia. At the lower border of pectoralis major muscle and then it runs in the cleft between the pectoralis major and the deltoid muscle. So this is called as deltopectoral fascia. Then it pierces the clavipectoral fascia and then it drains into the axillary vein. At the elbow level, the greater amount of blood is shunted from the cephalic to the basilic vein through the help of medial cubital vein. So this comes the cephalic vein. And this is the basilic. This is the median cubital vein. The cephalic vein is accompanied by the lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm. This is the lateral cutaneous nerve. of forearm. The cephalic vein is the preaxial vein. It is the preaxial vein of a polym. It corresponds to the great saphenous vein of the lower limb. So this is about the cephalic cephalic vein. So it begins it begins from the dorsal venous arch runs through the roof of anatomical snuff box. Coming to the basilic vein, it begins as the continuation of the medial end of the dorsal venous arch. This is the medial end. Then it runs upwards along the back of the medial border of the forearm. Then it wind rounds around the elbow to reach the anterior aspect of the forearm. Then it continues upwards along the biceps brachii medial compartment up to the middle of the arm. It pierces the deep fascia then unites with the brachial nerves, brachial veins and runs along the medial side of the brachial artery. Here the brachial artery will be present. Then it joins into the axillary vein at the lower border of 
टेरेस में जो मंजिल एंड ड्रेन इन टू द एक्सलरी वेन द बेसिलिक वेन द बेसिलिक वेन इज द पोस्ट एक्जिल पोस्ट एक्जिल वेन ऑफ अपर लिम इट करस्पॉन्ड्स टू द शॉर्ट सेफिनस शॉर्ट सेफिनस वेन ऑफ लोअर लिम सेफिनस मीनिंग विजिबल About 2.5 centimeters of the medial epicondyle of the humerus, it is joined by the medial cubital vein. About 2.5 centimeters above, it is accompanied by the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. so this is about the basilic vein the medial cubital vein is a communicating venous channel between the cephalic cephalic and the basilic veins we shunt blood from the cephalic to the basilic vein this is the cephalic and the basilic it begins from the cephalic vein that is 2.5 cm below the elbow band and runs obliquely upwards medially to the end to end in the basilic vein that is 2.5 cm above the elbow band the important features of this medial cubital vein it is separated by the brachial artery by the bicipital aponeurosis below it it communicates with the deep veins through a perforator vein that communicates in the deep venous channels it receives the medial vein of the forearm this is the medial This is the medial vein of forearm. It shunts blood from the cephalic vein to the basilic vein. Sometimes the upper end of the medial vein of the forearm bifurcates into two and forms the median basilic and the median cephalic. in this condition the median cubital vein is absent this medial vein of forearm starts from the palmar venous network it will end in the elbow that drains into one of these three veins either medial cubital vein or cephalic or the basilic so it has two patterns this is the head shaped and this is the m shaped coming to the uses the median cubital vein the basilic vein and the cephalic vein are mainly used for the vena puncture vena puncture in cubital fossa that is they help in blood transfusion and intravenous injections coming to the medial cubital vein uses this is mainly preferred because 
it is the most superficial most superficial vein in the body it is anchored by deep vein and perforating vein and another main reason is it is supported by underlining bicipital aponeurosis coming to the cephalic vein it is mainly preferred for the hemodialysis of chronic renal failure crf and as follows from the basilic vein it goes into the axillary vein to subclavian vein to the brachiocephalic vein to the superior vena cava and the right atrium of heart this process is mainly done by using the basilic vein and this technique is called as cardiac catheterization